Queen of Light, 1111, coming back to you with your Monday read. This is your Monday Twin Flame Energy Check-In. I have a lot of cards here today. I um, decided to do something just a little different. I still did um, the Divine Masculine's head, heart space. What does he want from his feminine in 3D? Did the same here for the feminine. Um, but I did this last row instead of 3D messages. I was like, what actions are they going to take towards each other? And so I have four cards fly out for that. And then I clarified it with um, the Gilded uh, Reverie Lenormand. And then we have current connective energies and future energies here. So, um, you know, there's still a lot of mirroring, still a lot of repeating cards. Um, there's still a great desire from the masculine side to communicate. Uh, it seems to me, though, that um, on the feminine side, there's less, a little bit less pain um, than we've had in our, in our readings in the past. It's really much of a higher vibration. Um, she's definitely more in her power. Um, so those are the changes I've seen on the feminine side. Now, let's just go ahead and get to it. Bottom of the deck for the Divine Masculine, the Hangman. So the Hangman is a card of suspension. So he's his underlying energy at this time is that he is suspended, okay? This is relationship is at a pause, and he's being analytical. He's being thoughtful. Things are moving slow now. We were having um, a lot of energy around, you know, indications of wanting to communicate and move forward and a lot of, you know, Knight of Swords energies. And what I've noticed really is um, the energy has seems to have slowed down just a little bit, okay? So he's in the hanged man's energy. This is about um, suspension. This is about... Um, sometimes an in, inability to let go of certain behaviors, certain thoughts, you know, certain relationships. And so um, he's enlightening. He's getting enlightened at this time. But this enlightenment has suspended the growth of this relationship at this time because there's some continued learning that he needs to go through. OK, so in his headspace, we have when he thinks about his divine feminine, we have the devil. We have the five of pentacles. We have the Three of Cups, the Nine of Wands. And so when I got the Devil card, I was like, what is this about? Because I feel like I've gotten this card for him before. So I asked for a clarifier for the Devil, and I got the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands with the Devil. Okay, so this is in his headspace. He is really obsessing. Remember, he's in the hanged, hanged man's energy, so he's really doing a lot of thinking, analysis, enlightenment, He's reviewing behaviors and uh, maybe even having a hard time letting go of certain behaviors, relationships, people, or things. So what I'm getting from his headspace with the devil card clarified by the five of wands is that he's very much in his head obsessing about this, this you know, disagreement, this either public shaming, this thing that happened between this the two of you, the divine feminine and the masculine around this fight where other people were involved. So he's, he's obsessively thinking about it right now. And that is why his whole energy has now gone into suspension. And there's not a ton of action and uh, movement forward because he's obsessing. He's, get, he's stuck in his head. He's thinking about this fight. He's thinking about, you know, five of wands is like other people involved. There could have been some public shaming, maybe you know, either she called, the feminine called him out and exposed him. And so he's very much in his head about this, okay? And then that coupled with the, then the five of pentacles, so you have the five of wands that clarified the devil, another five of pentacles. He's also very much processing how he may have rejected you or left you out in the cold, okay? But he's still determined in his head. He still wants to move forward. He's still determined. He still has the endurance you know, to keep going and because he wants reunion. That's what he wants to keep going towards with this three of cups energy. So now where is the divine feminine in her headspace? So she has um, in her bottom of the deck, she has ace of swords. So she's all about clarity. She's kind of coming out of something. She had the ten of swords before in, her, in the bottom of her deck. She's had the death energy before. She's had a lot of three of swords energy before, a lot of heavy, heavy 
pain and burden. And so now I feel like she's coming out the other end and she's now looking for clarity. She's looking for truth. And that's the underlying energy for her. So her bottom of the, her, um, in her headspace, when she thinks about her masculine, she has the King of Swords. The King of Swords is about someone who's truthful, ethical, you know, moral. She's looking for someone that is going to, you know, be her higher vibrational match because she's coming up as the Queen of Cups as well. So she's looking for her masculine to be truthful, honorable, ethical. She wants to match a higher vibration of a higher court card. She is someone who's balanced her emotions. She's nurturing. She's compassionate. And, you know, she's really come out of this pain and this energy that she has been in. But she's still waiting. She's waiting for him to come forward with this truth and this clarity. And it's just not happening as quickly as she'd like. But he's she, he's still her wish. So in her headspace, she's looking for a higher vibrational match. But she's waiting, right? She's put something out in the universe. She's put this wish out there. And she's waiting, right, for it to come into hopefully fruition or ha hopefully it manifests. But she wants it to come with truth and she wants to come come she wants it to come with clarity. Okay. So now in his heart space, we have another five. So he's full of challenges. We have now the five of swords. The five of swords also shows up in her space, in her 3D space. So, you know, they're very much still. He is in his heart. He's burdened by this fight, this disagreement, this situation with other people. You know, he's it has the devil's energy in his headspace, so he's obsessively thinking about it. And now in his heart, he is feeling pain. He wants to end this cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. He wants to end this cycle of pain. He wants to have something stable, solid. He wants to build something with her. And this is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles also shows up in her heart space. So this is the Divine Masculine. So if your Divine Masculine is an Earth sign, that's what I'm getting because that's where the match is, okay? Not the swords, not the wands that comes up, but the Pentacles because the Pentacles is the match. So if your Masculine is an Earth sign, special message, but doesn't have to be. So in the heart space, very much heartbroken, and processing this fight, okay? He's got three fives, five of wands, five of pentacles in his headspace, processing it with this devil's energy, obsession, obsession. It's keeping him stuck, and it's keeping this relationship suspended. In his heart, he's processing this fight. He wants this cycle to end. He wants to offer something stable, secure, grounded, and he wants to make a real offer. In his heart, he really wants to make a real offer. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the action. So this is that's another repeating card for the feminines. When I asked, what is the feminine going to do? And we have the Ace of Pentacles for her as well. So another repeating card. Now in her heart space, she has the King of Wands. The King of Pentacles, which I just said is a match, the Knight of Swords, and the Hierophant. So what I'm getting from this is, you know, this, this King of Pentacles and King of Wands energy, she really wants him to come across as a leader, someone who's going to come forward with strength, right? King of Wands is a strong energy. He's a strong person. She wants him to be decisive. She wants something grounded and stable. And she wants a message of truth. She wants it to come forward, right? Because in her headspace, she's waiting. She's put something out in the universe. She's waiting. She wants him to come forward and have a discussion about this contract with this Hierophant's energy. So in her heart, she's very much... You know, she wants to honor this contract, but she's waiting for him to come forward, you know, make a decision, be decisive, be a leader and offer something stable and grounded and mature. Okay. Then when I asked where, what does he want? Like, what does the masculine want from his feminine in the 3D? And we have four cards, judgment. So he wants her forgiveness. Okay. This has come up a lot. So I don't feel like I need to keep going on about what this card means, but in the 3D, he wants forgiveness. He wants a renewal. He wants a rebirth. He wants to send a message of love. He wants to come forward with a message of love. He wants to be a leader. The Knight of Cups is a repeating card. It also comes up in her 3D want. She wants the message. He wants to send it. 
And then we have the emperor's energy. This is the divine masculine in the 3D. And this is the 3D want. He wants to be a leader. He wants to be, you know, the strong person, this masculine who comes forward and asks for forgiveness. He wants her forgiveness. He wants to come forward with this message of love, right? He wants to be the leader and he wants to have this 10 of pentacles. He sees her as his long-term partner in the 3D. So now, as far as the feminine, what does she want in the 3D? Well, she wants union. She wants union, but she wants him to come forward, right? The Knight of Cups, I just said, it came up in his 3D want. He wants to, you know, come forward with his offer of love. She wants him to come forward too. And this also could mean that she may want to go forward and offer him something because maybe she's tired of waiting. But I feel like with this five of swords energy followed by the chariot, what I'm getting is, yes, she wants union, okay? She's still processing this five of swords just like he is in his heart space. She's processing it in the 3D, like very much rationally because we have the swords energy. So she's logically thinking about this fight, and she wants to move forward. So she may, either there's two things with the chariot card. It's like she may move forward and offer this message and say, hey, what's up? Or this could be that she's waiting and she wants him to move forward quickly because she's sick of waiting. So those are two messages that I got. Then I asked, what does, what action is the divine masculine going to take? What is he going to do? So we have, the seven of cups clarified by the number four card this house okay uh and so he's kind of confused in the in the 3d like well, action wise he's confused about what action to take with this foundation with this relationship the house is his sanctuary and i'm really getting that he's just confused he's confused about what choice to make because he's processing all these challenges and this pain in his heart and in his mind space. He knows he has to ask her for forgiveness. He doesn't know if the door of this house, of this sanctuary is going to be open to him. So he's confused. So while I asked, what is the action? The action is nothing yet because in this energy, he has confusion. But then in the next card that flew out, we have the eight of wands. The eight of wands is all about communication. It's all about you know, travel, movement forward. And it was clarified by the roses, which is a gift. He wants to come forward and offer a gift, offer this love, right? Remember in the 3D, what does he want? Knight of Cups. And so he does in his action. He wants to communicate. He really does. He wants to communicate, but he's confused. He doesn't know if the door is going to be open to him. Okay. And so He's in this eight of wands, this great desire to communicate, to travel to you, to offer you this gift of love, okay? But he's confused. Then his next energy is the lovers. This is about decisions. This is also about soul connections. This is about his relationship. He knows that this is a divine connection, but when it's coupled with the whip and the broom, this is a little bit of challenge, right? So what I really got from this is like he's making, he's confused. He's making a decision about this relationship. There's also the number 11 card and it coming up with the lovers. I thought that was very, very significant because this is a twin flame connection. So this is the birch and the broom um, clarified, clarifying the lovers. And so this is a little troublesome, right? This is about, you know, there's discord, there's disharmony, there's conflict, there's arguments. And so this relationship is under conflict as far as he's concerned. That's why he's confused. That's why he doesn't know if the door is going to be open. There is a great desire to communicate, but really, you know, this is, this is like, Hey, is she going to crack the whip on me? Is she going to sweep me out of the house like he uh, you know he's not sure about this relationship and um you know if she, if he is going if she is going to be open to his communication and this gift he wants to give and so really it's about you know is she gonna whip me <laughs> you know into into shape or like is she gonna sweep me out of this house right this sanctuary he's just not sure how he's going to be received but he does know this is a divine connection and the most positive sense of this card coupled with the lovers is just like maybe people are just getting all their ducks in a row they're sweeping they're cracking a whip on themselves they're sweeping they're getting rid of old behaviors right because they're being enlightened to get prepared to take on this divine connection so 
Um, again, the only action card so far is the Eight of Wands, which is this desire to communicate, but is very much challenged by, is she going to open the door? Is she going to crack the whip on me? Is she going to sweep me out of her life? Okay, and then the last kind of, I'll quote, the last card that came out was the Ten of Swords with, you know, this um, bird's nest. And so the Ten of Swords is about, you know, the end, breakup, loss. And so he's not sure, is this really over? I want to communicate. This is literally like tweeting. This is like social media. This is like, you know, tweeting. This is messages on Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is. But this is definitely this desire. But again, it's like, is this over? Is it over? I'm not sure if it's over. Is she going to open the door? Is this relationship done? I want to communicate. I want to offer her a gift. But this very troubled energy around his action state, you know, with the um, with the seven of cups, with the home, and then the whip, the birch and the broom with the lovers, and then the ten of swords, um, with the um, with the bird's nest. There's again two indications of wanting to communicate. Two strong indicators, but is coupled by a lot of challenges and strife. And he knows this relationship is in turmoil. He knows this relationship is over at this time. So how to come forward? Is she even going to be open to receiving me? Okay. So I thought that was, that was really interesting. So then the next, um, for the feminine, what action is she going to take? We have the Emperor's card. Remember, the Emperor showed up in his 3D space, right? Like, what does he want? So this is with the um, the stork. And so that's kind of about, like, endings and beginnings. It's also about birth. It's about, you know, creating families. So what I'm getting from this is, like, remember I said here, like, that she wants union, but she is in the 3D processing this fight, but she does have the Knight of Cups in her energy, too, in the 3D about what it is that she wants with the chariot. So this could be like, hey, maybe I'm going to be the leader and maybe I'm going to create a rebirth. Or it's like I, that was one message. Second message here is of, you know, I want him to stand as a leader, be a man, be a leader and create now this renewal with the Stork's energy. Give this relationship a new life a new birth and then the next card we have for actions that she would take is the fool with this um tree and so you know the tree's all about roots the tree's all about you know healing and with the fool is she's really hoping for a new beginning a healed new beginning the uh, bottom of the deck for the lenormand is this peace card it's the lilies so they really want peace in this relationship right both of them and so she's hoping for a healed new beginning but again no action just yet on her part right then on the 3d action again i got knight of pentacles and again knight of pentacles shows up um does it show up in his space oh it shows up in in hers i thought uh, hold on a second no, it doesn't. Knight of Pentacles. So again, I think it's just because it's slow energy. That's why the Knight of Pentacles showed up. Um, again, I'm sorry, it was the King of Pentacles. So Knight of Pentacles is just slow and steady, methodical. But when it's coupled with the book, what she's hoping is that people have learned their lessons. The book is about knowledge. The book is about education. The book is about learning. So she's hoping that he's learned, she's learned. Again, no action, okay? So then the last card is Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles shows up in his heart space and it is coupled with the cl the clovers, which is lucky. So I'm just getting, she wants an offer. She wants a lucky new beginning. You know, um, she wa she's hoping people have learned. She wants to make sure that, you know, they can have a healed new beginning. But in her side, I don't see action. On his side, he wants to take action. So, you know, I wish the cards came out a little bit more clear on what, what actions they would take towards each other. For her side, she really doesn't look like she's going to take action, okay? But on his side, he has a great desire to act, but it is coupled with some very heavy energy around... Um, just this fight, this communication. He has the five of swords, which is like nobody wins fight. It's like a lose, lose. He has the five of pentacles, which is about rejection and abandonment in his headspace. And then he has the devil's energy clarified by the five of wands, which is like 
obsessive thoughts over this conflict. And so he's very much uh, in a really tough spot. You know, he's he wants to really communicate with her. He wants to offer a gift. He knows that she is a divine partner of his. This relationship of with her is something very different than anything else. But he's just in a spot with this hangman's energy where his, he's completely at a halt at this time. Okay? Current connective energy for this couple. Bottom of the deck, two of swords. So again, at a halt. Okay? So people are at a stale. This relationship is at a stalemate at this time. We have for... Um, the current connective energy. Oh, here's the Knight of Pentacles. Current connective energy, Knight of Pentacles. It showed up here in her 3D action space, the Knight of Pentacles with the book, okay? So um, the current connective energy is the Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, which shows up in his head space, the Nine of Wands, which uh, shows up in his head space, the Six of Pentacles, and the Star. So what I'm getting from this is, you know, again, it's like slow moving, slow moving. The current connective energy, it's slow moving now because he's in the hanged man. It doesn't look like the feminine is going to take any action towards her masculine. So it's slow, but people are still determined, okay, with this. And they have endurance in the current connection. They want to be able to give and receive from each other. They still have hope and they want union, okay? But it's just like nobody's doing anything. Then in the future energies, we have the Ten of Wands. I mean, there's still this continued burden, right? People are burdened that they can't get it together in this 3D, right? There's, there's, it's like every burden on their back, but people need to come into their leadership. This is the Emperor card now for the third time. And so that what I'm really getting from this is the Emperor, the masculine really needs to be the leader, be the man, help lead this relationship. It is in his 3D space and it is in her action where she what she wants this rebirth and renewal with the stork as the clarifier you know so you know right now in the in the future energies there's burden okay people are burdened the people must be leaders they must take control of this relationship so they can have this four of wands this marriage this contract they must come forward with passion with a decision right with this message so that wishes can be fulfilled the nine of cups is in her space okay so I'm just getting that, um, you know, I was really hopeful. I still am. It just feels like there's still healing being done. The feminine is very much, you know, now just really continue to look for clarity for the truth. She wants the masculine to come forward. I don't know that she's going to do anything. She might with this 3D want, with this Knight of Cups, with the Chariot, she might do something. But with the Five of Swords energy here, where she's also processing this win, uh, this lose-lose fight, uh, it might be getting in the way of this union that she wants with him in the 3D. And his, you know, hanged man state where he's suspended because he's obsessed with this fight that's happened in his headspace with this rejection that he, that he, um, you know, the rejection that he gave to his feminine, he rejected her. And then with his five of swords in his heart space, he's just kind of really challenged. He wants to communicate. I get that loud and clear, but his energy is heavy. His energy is heavy because he's not sure that she will receive him. He's not even sure if she wants him. Um, and she's, he's not sure if she's going to whip him or if she's, and I, and I don't mean it in a physical way, but just, you know, metaphorically, like, you know, just, uh, if, if she's going to let crack the whip on this relationship because he thinks it might be over. Okay. And so, and, and she might sweep him out of her life. He might even be like, I'm already swept out. So, um, things today feel a little stuck. There's still this desire to come together. This is a wish. People want this four of wands. They want this marriage. They want this commitment. They want, you know, in the future that they, they want people, people want them want to come forward, but they are burdened a little bit. And in the current energy, you know, it's just slow with the nine of pentacles. Reunion is definitely wanted. It's definitely more so um, in his heart, in his head space. There's hope. There's an equal give and take that's going to be required. And with this nine of wands energy, uh, people have the endurance to move forward. It is just really about gaining the courage at this time, okay? 
I really wish I had some more action. Uh, that's why I asked for that. I don't know. I didn't get it for the feminine side, but he certainly has action cards here, but it is very much overshadowed by his fear and his confusion of whether or not the feminine wants him. All right. So I don't know. I'll do another check in on Wednesday and um, hopefully we see a little bit of movement. If not major movement would be great. Um, let me know if this reading resonates with you. Okay. And if you'd like your own personal reading, please reach out to me through my website, book a session through my website at queen of light 1111.com. Um, as a reminder, I do not do video recordings for readings for personal readings. They are uh, phone readings only for us based clients and Skype sessions for international clients. I do not do YouTube videos. Um, I prefer a more personal interaction. That is also the gift that I have, which is of clairsentience. So um, I need to, in order to give a good reading, a per good personal reading, I need to connect with my clients. So um, I do not do video recordings. Again, so if you want your own personal reading with me, please go to queenoflight1111.com. Have a great Monday, everyone. Uh, and let me know if this resonates. Bye.